Coccinellidae is a widespread family of small beetles ranging in size from 0.8 to 18 mm. They are commonly known as ladybugs in North America and ladybirds in Great Britain and other parts of the English-speaking world. They are however not true bug scientific name, Coccinellidae septem punctata, seven pot ladybird, family name, Coccinellidae classification, insect and status, not evaluated, lifespan, in wild, around one year, two years maximum, body length, up to one centimeter top speed, 24 km per hour diet, mostly carnivores habitat, grasslands, forests, cities, suburbs and along rivers. There are about 5,000 different species of ladybirds in the world. These much-loved critters are also known as lady beetles or ladybugs, and in many cultures they're considered good luck. They come in many different colors and patterns, but the most familiar in the UK is the seven-spot ladybird, which has a shiny, red and black body. Most people like ladybirds because they are pretty, graceful and harmless to humans. But farmers love them because they eat aphids and other plant-eating pests. And boy do they eat, in its year-long life, a single seven-spot ladybird can gobble more than 5,000 aphids. Most, ladybirds have oval, dome-shaped bodies with six short legs. Depending on the species, they can have spots, stripes or no markings at all. Seven-spotted ladybugs are red, or sometimes orange, with three spots on each side and one in the middle. Their head is black with white patches on either side. The ladybird's bright colors act as an important defense mechanism, warning animals they'd best not eat them. When threatened, the bugs secrete an oily, yucky, yellow fluid from joints in their legs, and their coloring acts a reminder to any peckish predators who've eaten their kind before that they taste disgusting. These brilliant bugs have another trick to avoid danger, too, remain still and pretend to be dead. Simple, eh? Birds are ladybugs' main predators, but they also fall victim to frogs, wasps, spiders and dragonflies. Ladybirds lay their eggs in clusters or rows on the underside of a leaf, usually where aphids have gathered. Larvae, which vary in shape and color depending on the species, emerge in a few days. Seven-spot ladybird larvae are long, black and spiky looking with orange or yellow spots, some say they look a bit like small alligators. Larvae grow quickly and shed their skin several times. When they reach full size, they attach to a leaf by their tail, and a pupa is formed. In only a week or two later, the pupa becomes an adult ladybug. Seven-spot ladybirds are native to Europe but were introduced to North America in the mid-1900s to control aphid populations. These incredible insects are happy in many different habitats, including grasslands, forests, cities, suburbs and along rivers. During spring and summer, when they are most active, these incredible insects can be seen fluttering around or walking on the leaves of plants. But when the weather turns colder in autumn, they look for a warm, secluded place to hibernate, such as in rotting logs, under rocks or even inside houses. They like to group together, too, and these hibernating colonies can sometimes contain thousands of ladybirds. There are many species of ladybird beetles, also referred to as lady beetles or ladybugs. With the exception of two species that can be significant garden pests, Mexican bin beetles and squash beetles, all other ladybugs are the first line of defense for the home gardener against many soft-bodied pest insects. There are hundreds of species of lady beetles in North America, most of which survive the winter as adults in sheltered locations. Appearance eggs tiny, bright yellow-orange, spindle-shaped eggs laid upright in clusters of 530, usually located near colonies of insects they eat. May be mistaken for eggs of some pest beetles such as Colorado potato beetle, Mexican bin beetle, and squash beetle. Larvae, look completely, different from adults, being flattened and tapered, alligator-like, up to one quarter long, usually dark colored with orange or yellow markings, many species have short bristles on some parts of the body, and three prominent pairs of legs. Larvae are very active, crawling about quickly as they hunt for prey. Adults, vary in size but average one quarter, three-eighths long, typically round or oval and convex in shape. 
bright and varied colors ranging from black to pink, yellow, or red, with or without spots on wings. Convergent lady beetle is usually orange with a number of small black spots, twice stabbed lady beetle is black with two red spots on its back, seven spotted lady beetle is orange or red with seven spots on its back, multicolored Asian lady beetles have highly variable spot patterns. Where to find, ladybird beetles on many plants throughout the garden and landscape, feeding on soft-bodied insects or flowering plants. Look especially on leaf undersides. Garden crops on which lady beetles are commonly found include potatoes, sweet corn, peas, beans, coal crops, tomatoes, and asparagus.